A burglary at a gun shop this week in Pueblo is just the latest in a troubling trend. There have been nearly 1,500 burglaries in Pueblo this year, and that number is rising, and it has been rising steadily over the past several years. Just yesterday, three men were arrested in connection with the burglary at RJC Firearms. That's near Mineral Palace Park, north of downtown. Caradio News Channel 13's Michelle San Miguel joins us live with new information on this disturbing spike in crime. James, the way the crooks made their way inside the store shows how desperate they were to get those guns. Police say those men cut a small hole in this mesh, crawled through that hole, and then used a sledgehammer to open a steel door. They had hammers with them, and I just bashed the glass. All the glass fell on all the guns. The thieves took off with 11 guns inside the case worth more than $5,000. This is the knob from the outside of the door that they bashed with the sledgehammer. Concialdi doesn't have surveillance cameras, but video from nearby businesses helped police nab their guys. I will probably get some surveillance cameras in here. Uh, in the future. It's an investment police say is well worth it at a time when burglaries are on the rise. It has to do a little bit with drugs. Um, people are searching for money for drugs. They're stealing items. They're selling them, pawning them, trading them to get money for narcotics. As for the stolen guns, police are still looking for seven of them. Haven't any guns out on the street right now that are illegal or have been stolen in a burglary are dangerous right now because you're right, they are ending up in the hands of gang members and that's what we're trying to deter. Police say burglaries tend to decrease during the winter because, you guessed it, crooks don't like being outside. Now, coming up at 6 o'clock, we're talking with police about what steps you can take to prevent your business from being burglarized. Reporting live in Pueblo, Michelle San Miguel, KRDO, News Channel 13. Thanks, Michelle.